Two disturbing crime scenes in different parts of Tennessee are the focus of ongoing investigations tonight. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rory Johnston. Now we're tracking new details on what may have led to the violent deaths of a family in East Tennessee. But first, we're going to begin with new information on the two people charged in Memphis after the body of a four year old girl was found. News Channel 5's Emily Luxon is at the Five Alert Center with an update. Emily. Well, Roy, this is just a heartbreaking case that continues to become more troubling as more details emerge. Family members of Sequoia Samuels claim her mother and her mother's boyfriend repeatedly abused the child, and police records show they lied about how she died. Sequoia's body was found Thursday near the apartment where she lived. Her mother, Brittany Jackson, reportedly told police Sequoia had actually been dead for weeks after her boyfriend, Jalen Hobson, physically attacked her. Police say Jackson admitted that she and Hobson stored Sequoia's body in garbage bags in the house until they moved the bags to a garbage can outside of the apartment. A cousin who didn't want to be identified said that she reached out to the Tennessee Department of Children's Services multiple times before Sequoia's death. The baby had bruises on her every time she come around the family and stuff like that. And you know, she was born premature um, and she has a slower development than a normal child would. And she, she, she abused the child all the time. So, you know, I would have taken custody of her, but they, they failed me and they failed my little cousin. That's how, exactly how I feel. Brittany Jackson is charged with aggravated child neglect, abuse of a corpse, and giving a false offense report. Jalen Hobson is also charged with giving a false offense report. The Tennessee Department of Children's Services is also investigating this case. Reporting at the Five Alert Center, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5. Emily, thanks. We also have new details tonight about the victims in a grisly murder-suicide in Marion County. Investigators found six bodies in a home just outside Chattanooga last night. That home had been set on fire. The sheriff says Gary Barnett shot and killed his estranged wife, Regina Barnett, her daughter and himself. Three children also died, but it's unclear if they were shot or if they were killed in the fire. Another unidentified man was also shot several times, but survived and is in the hospital. Gary Barnett was previously charged with domestic assault and Regina Barnett was granted an order of protection, which was still in effect at the time of the murders.